Hi, I'm Jay. I'm Glenn. And we're going to be filming our usual case unboxing for 401 games of the Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls set. Uh, so this set is actually pretty cool. We're, for Glenn and I, it has a lot of stuff we like. It has uh, the Female Furies, which are Dark Sides basically, Warrior Elite. Uh, we have the more recent DC Comics Bombshells, which are basically World War II era pinups. Uh, which are some pretty cool sculpts. Uh, for the box has Harley and Ivy and they have a duo piece. We also have lots of variants of DC's own ver variant on Deadpool, uh, Harley Quinn, beloved guest from the uh, TV series. And we got the Gotham Girls, a wide selection of the various vixens from Gotham. Mm -hmm. And chase-wise, we're looking at more apocalypse-related stuff with the uh, Dark Side War. Justice League, which is basically all the Justice Leaguers with different kinds of powers, like we have the Met uh, Batman sitting in Metron's Mobius chair, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So we'll hopefully pull at least one of those chases and then we'll see what we got. Uh, so we're going to do the usual, compare what the two figures we get, put them out, and then decide who wins, and then overall there'll be a winner. And we are fighting over the, uh, the Harlequin. Uh, a peak at prize figure, which is uh, Harley Quinn, and uh, who was introduced into the Batman 66 comic universe. So she's pretty neat. Yeah. She makes a hot air balloon vehicle. She has a variant <laughs> on the old elaborate death traps. She has the old United Underworld keywords. You can play her with like Vincent Price <laughs> and Ken and all those characters. So yeah, so let's get started. I opened my back left to start, and I'm going to go back and sneak around for anybody who keeps track of that sort of thing. We have, on my booster, we have Hulkirk Manhunter, uh, Stompa, who's a, one of the Furies, the generic Asylum Doctor, Scandal Savage, and Jeanette, who is my rare. I think I'm going to focus on Jeanette. I have, I have Catwoman, a Big Barda. Uh, Bombshell, Poison Ivy, the generic mercenary, and the Joker with the fish. All right. So, yes, so Jeanette has a common trait among all the Secret Six characters in this set, which is uh, Social Stealth. If you have three or more characters, if you have five or more, you get improved movement hindering. From, uh, and then if you have exactly six characters, you get Secret Six. All your characters get plus one stats. She has a defense power where, like the old uh, Swarm from the Deadpool in the X-Force set, she only takes one damage at a time, unless it's a attack roll of doubles. And then once she takes that one damage, she's running shot pulse wave for 50 points. Starts with TK. Decent little piece for a rare. Well, my choice. It's classic, Big Barda. This is her before she decided to become a good guy. Uh, she's got a little apocalypse, which if uh, she hits, she's immune to a couple things, which is always nice. Uh, yeah, she's generally pretty nasty, pretty good numbers. Yeah. She also has a prime, which is differently good, I think. Yeah, that's Barda after she's reformed. Mm -hmm. All right. I think you win this one because I cannot argue with Barda. Yeah, it's... literally and figuratively. <laughs> okay, we. Oh. oh, there. That was one. Here's one that I wanted for a long time. I just got his reflex in. Um, I have Catman. I have Plastique, who I think was also on Flicks before this set. Yep. Matt Harriet. Um, Robin from the Thrill Killer set. And Dr. Holly Quinn, which is a, a different version of the uh, Batman 66 kind of thing. I'm picking Catman because he was long, long overdue. Well. I, looking through what I pulled out here, and I got two very pretty looking ones. Uh, we got Enchantress and Nightshade, but Nightshade's a super rare and looks really sharp. So that's going to be fine. So Catman has the same uh, Secret Six trait. Uh, for a 50 point character, once he gets those plus one stats, he can start off with a 5 movement with charge, 11 attack blades, 18 with reflexes, along with the stealth that the trait will give him, because it all stacks and uh, exploit weakness. 50 points, that's pretty damn good. Very happy with how he turned out. All right, my pick is our first super rare, Nightshade. Um, she's got the unfortunate, uh, what part of Suicide Squad don't you understand, where you actually get a penalty if she gets KO'd. Uh, she looks pretty sharp, nice 
translucent. And it's been yeah, a while the, since she's been around. Yeah, the translucent plastics they have going on now are really good. Yeah, it's just a good support piece. Got some prob in there. Got some transportation ability. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she can pull people in towards her. So, pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, she's kind of like the, uh, the Raven we got in the Wonder Woman set who could just teleport people with her and yeah. prob and... I like that the trade downed your points. It's not the worst negative, but like I always like those kind of things. So it definitely helps. Knocks a few points off and mm -hmm. enables you to fit a whole team on. That 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 is good. It definitely looks like you've won again with your amazing <laughs> super rare. Hopefully, I'll start to win a few of these. All right. Well, which one did you? Pick? I'll pick the same one. Mm -hmm. So we balance it. Oh my god. Okay. This is another unclicked of the JSA, which is my favorite DC team, my favorite team in general. My job. Uh, yes, you too. I was made to forget about you. Uh, Renee Montoya, Bombshell Poison Ivy, Hive Trooper, and Big Tony. He's, he was probably going to be one of the best support pieces in the set because he has a 15 point perplex but only the Jason. But I'm not talking about him. We are talking about Charles McNider, Dr. Midnight who, Ooh. up until this point, has been on clicks because the one from Collateral Damage is actually uh, Peter Cross. So he has a similar time trait from way back in Joker's Wild. Uh, another, there's a lot of shared traits nowadays for different teams, and he has, basically, when he, somebody copies his defense for the JSA team ability, there's an extra uh, little bonus there once per turn. Uh, his is reduce the damage taken by an additional one if it's a range attack. So, he actually can give your character self, but if they're being range attacked, they can uh, then reduce damage by like, one on top of that, uh, on top of other reducers. He makes a hoodie. He's just a fun little piece, starts with perplex, 45 points. Well, I got myself a cat man. Mm -hmm. uh, a scarecrow, which is always good. Uh, I got a bat girl, looks like the thrill killer version. And a uh, bombshell cat woman. That's quite a whip she has. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice looking, but my one for this one is Prometheus. He, his old dial, old figure was really nice, but the dial is totally inadequate for modern, and this looks like a nice sculpt. Yeah, it's pretty good for a rare. And like, really nice setup and decent character too. Like he's got download the counter your abilities, free. Choose a standard attack and damage power. You can use those powers until your next turn. So in addition to his Decent numbers, he could also pick whatever you need right then mm -hmm. to defeat someone. So, also ignores him during the light of fire. Yeah. So, haha, -ha, Batman. That's you again. <laughs> okay, obviously, this was the better brick by a considerable margin. Let's see. Maybe I'll play some catch up soon. Let me have. Wow, I really, so it looks like the back row has just been embarrassed for me, so keep that in mind. Uh, I got the rare Bombshell Stargirl, who's my favorite character. Uh, yell, a Sinestro Corps Scarecrow, uh, Big Barda, which is the regular, uh, Knockout, uh, and the Common Joker. I think I'm going to pull out, since you already picked Barda, I'm going to get out Scarecrow. You can go first this time. Okay, looking at what I got, I got a Harley Quinn. Oh, who knew? Uh, we got a Stompa. We got a Batman. We got a Kite Man, whose name, as Jay pointed out, his secret identity is Charles Brown. <laughs> and one of the characters I've been waiting for a long time. The original Red Tornado, Ma Hunkle. Mm -hmm. She's middle-aged, beefy woman with a cooking pot on her head. She makes a mean stew with that pot. Yep, makes a mean <laughs> stew. She helps out the JSA, uh, she provides support, she can pull them in and heal them, and she just generally is an amazing support piece. Mm -hmm. And a fun character, finally, finally clicked. She was only previously a pog, mm -hmm. and she finally graduated. For her for a while. Yeah. It, yeah, there's four JSA characters in this set, and all three out of four of them were on clicks before this, so. Yeah. There, uh, so Scarecrow. Similar sculpt to the other one, but like the scythe is a yellow lantern construct, lots of cool stuff. Really solid attacker, running shot psychic blast, he flies, he has traded 
uh, semester report perplex, which is always a minus one. In addition to that, if uh, you use it afterwards, their defense is 15 or less. They take damage because they're just that afraid. <laughs> as cool as he is, mm -hmm. I must concede to my uncle that you are very far ahead of me at this point. Yeah. But I think I have something. Oh, I think I have a winner, finally. Yeah. Oh, oh, but it doesn't matter because I pulled our chase, which is probably, I think, going to be the most expensive one in the set, which I oh, mentioned yeah. before, which is Metron Batman. Yeah, that's there's really not much of a contest there. And I got an interesting pack. Uh, I got a Catman. Uh, looks like a Hive Trooper, which is always good. It's been a while since they've been around, and they also. We know Queen Bee's in this set somewhere. Uh, we got Bud, uh, the two hyenas for Harley. Mm -hmm. We got the Thrill Killer Robin and uh, Bombshell Stargirl. I also got uh, Bombshell Batwoman, who is a character I wanted. She hasn't been around since uh, the first Batman set. Uh, Thrill Killer Batman, Thrill Killer Batgirl, and Thrill Killer Harley Quinn, who's the common. Uh, so Batman. Uh, there's a shared sort of trait, slightly different among all the chases, which they nerf a different thing based on their powers, which is he's got a knowledge, so he shuts down uh, Perplex within six squares, which is kind of relevant now because Unimind is notorious for using Perplex. Yep. Uh, a lot of good keywords, Batman Family of course, Justice League of course, New Gods of course, Deity because he's kind of a god and a detective, which makes sense. No, Gotham is a little weird, but it is what it is. Uh, he has the mob he's sitting in the Mobius chair, which lets him free phasing if he doesn't have a token, and then he has a outward variant, which either gives him two powers to be countered, or he can get rid of the team ability. Uh, Quintessence, Stealth, I don't think he's going to make as much of an impact as the original Metron from Arkham Asylum, but still, yeah. damn impressive. Well, that was given that he was going to win that one, <laughs> so I don't care, I'm doing the hyena. Uh, this is Bud. There's Gimme Two, Lou and Bud, named after Adam Castello. Um, friends of Harley that pick up her keywords, which means you can have some fun with uh, some hyenas and have a laugh. Kick her on with a hyena. <laughs> but yeah, that's. My, my previous uh, hypothesis about the whole backslot being bad with bad was uh, incorrect, apparently. The Batman booster was the uh, back. Back right, so over where I'm pointing now. Yeah. Anybody who likes to keep track of that sort of thing. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, not destroying as many things as I already have. Uh, I got Knockout, Stompa, Duchess, Red Tornado, and Bombshell Mira. I think I'm going to focus on Duchess. Yeah, so you already showed the uh, the Red Tornado. Uh, Duchess is actually Lashina in disguise, which is why she gets to uh, turn into Lashina with her trait. Uh, she has the Suicide Squad trait, which if she blows up, the rest of your team is a little bit, what's the word, uh, their morale is shot a little bit, so they lose an action total. And she has an energy explosion theory where she can use smoke out after. She's, you know, she has different keywords than uh, Lashina, so you can get her on the team without uh, breaking themes. She's a decent little piece. Well, I got the Lady Joker. Uh, looks like Harley Quinn bombshell. Uh, we got Wonder Woman, JSA, another fine addition to the team. Uh, the General GCPD officer. But my choice is Kirk DePaul, Manhunter. We have our first prime. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Secret Society of Super Villains, an assassin. Uh, some selection of powers, either you want to focus on close or you want to focus on range. Um, and if someone wants to use a non Highlander team, he gives you a bonus against them. Uh, some pretty impressive numbers uh, 12 attack, precision strike, and uh, all at a very reasonable 65 points. Yeah, he's definitely prime worthy. Touch just goes down. Although I do like the fact that the regular. Regular Manhunter is Paul DeKirk, and this is Kirk DePaul. 
They think that one's completely a, different. Yeah, I think they're one's a clone of the other. Something like that. I like how much uh, secret society there is in the set, which is one of the main keyword yet that I care for. Yeah. Nice. You are very yeah, trail, and I think I can hope for a tie. Because <laughs> I can actually start pulling some super rares. Never. Mm, oh, wow. That's not a super rare, but apparently you can get more than one prime to kiss. I have pulled out the Yellow Lantern Early Quinn, who is one of the three kinds of lantern variants yes. of Harley in this set. There's a yellow, which is her the rare prime. The uh, black and red lantern is the super rare non-prime. And the super rare prime in the set is, of course, Harley herself as a green lantern. So we are going to pull out her card. She's, you know, the really, uh, yellow effect is pretty cool on her. Nice little costume. It's, it's the new 52 look, which I'm not as much of a fan of, but still, that was based on uh, Amanda Connor art, and she does pretty good stuff. She actually did the, the Power Girl on the like, comic, that was pretty cool, which I wanted a Power Girl out of for the set, but did not happen. Um, what did you get in your pack? Well, I got, <laughs> appropriately enough, Manhunter, the other one. Uh, looks like we got another Mercenary, uh, we got a Batgirl here. And Scandal Savage, so we're filling out our Secret 16 quite nicely, but my choice is the super rare Harley Quinn, the title character. Mm -hmm. Only 60 points, but being a title character gives you lots of interesting things to do, as you can see, like different kinds of options. And she can bring out uh, Harleys. Yeah, the only problem I have with the title characters is that they always have a negative 1 KO. Hers is pretty brutal, because she then lets your opponent's power action heal for the rest of the game. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's power, cold, heal two clicks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's kind of nasty, but she's got some good stats. Yep. Yeah. Very solid numbers. Yeah. And very reasonable price for seven works. clicks of life. Yeah. These days, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, so my Harley Quinn, <laughs> of course, uh, has the, again, like this, the uh, Scarecrow, the Sinestro Core Negative Perplex, and when she uses it, you get to choose closer range, and then, unless they're the only character left, they can't do that kind of attack. So I can say, your character can't do a close attack, and then that's too bad for them. Uh, she also has a cool knockback effect, because she has uh, boxing glove constructs, which is she can just do knockback, period. And then she gets actually knocked back damage, which is pretty cool. Oh, this was. I feel like just money wise, I would win because Fair Prime is going to trump Super Rare, I would say. Okay, I'll get that. Why don't we go to the next one? Oh, this is a substantial filling one, so I'm thinking maybe a certain. Maybe a Gigantic or a Shark. That's... It is possible we may get a Shark. Oh, there. That's I have the leader of the female series, once Barda goes, uh, Lashina. Uh, I have uh, the Stephanie Robin, Stephanie Brown Robin, that's Giganta. Uh, I have the regular Batman, regular Scarecrow, and Plastic. Well, I got, oh, this is just mine really popped off his stand. I got Lou, the other hyena, uh, JSA Wonder Woman again, a GCPD officer, and a Harley Quinn. And I'm definitely going with Giganta. Yep. Uh, so Lashina has Apocalypse, Female Fury, Suicide Squad, Soldier Keyword. She has the Rule of Apocalypse trait, which is shared among the Female Furies. She has a Range Plasticity trait to vary, which gives her uh, three square plasticity, which is always good. Uh, a cool leadership vary that gives close stand with Female Furies and Precision Strike. And then when she hits with close, she gives a token. So a lot of good stuff going on with uh, Lashina. Alright, that's a big one. You have Giganta, nice, nice sculpt, nice paint job. That's the plus on bigger figures. They can actually do a little more detail. Uh, Secret Six, uh, Legion of Doom, so some variety for villains there. Uh, she's got the only six of us trait. And when you make her angry, when she has two action tokens, she is colossal. So, gives you lots of options there. A little on the short side for the dial, but pretty cheap. And uh, well, once you get the trade stealth on her, that kind of makes up for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've already been building Legion Doom teams with her. <laughs> Take full advantage yeah, of that. Too. And looks the like new she's a good thing. version. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, a newer costume that looks pretty reasonable? Mm -hmm. Not the weird uh, tiger. Yeah, yeah. It, that's a little 1960s. Yeah, I'm gonna have to concede, and then. We're gonna play out the next two boosters, but one is definitely one. Let's see. Alright. We have. Wow, that's cute. We have the other title character of the set, uh, which is the Joker. Uh, I also have the Hive Commander, JSA Wonder Woman, with girl power flexing pose, uh, generic GCPD officer, and the Mercenary. Well, I have Big Tony, who is named ironically. Uh, we've got Batman, we've got a Hive Commander. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know there was any of those in there as well. So, if we get a Queen Bee, maybe mm -hmm. we could have a decent Hive base team. Uh, we, got, we got a Robin, and we got the Batgirl Bombshell. I believe this is the one that is actually a vampire. vampire. Yeah. Which is always cool. I like that game effect where. You know, you start out a little bit later, but then you can heal up and you can usually get, excuse the term, monster stats. Mm. Uh, so the Joker's uh, plus or minus six plot points, similar to Harley, give him a bunch of thugs. Pretty known with plasticity in their action so uh, He starts off with that wit, 18 reflexes and charge, so he's hard to deal with when he's in there. Uh, his plus one plot point is to deal one damage each adjacent opposing, each adjacent opposing character, so basically a poison you could do any time and after moving, which is unlike what poison does now. Uh, he has a bunch of uh, pick, a, pick a card lets him either move or damage opposing characters based on die roll, which is pretty interesting and random with the Joker. It's not my favorite version of the Joker they've ever done, but he's still pretty cool. Yep, uh, okay, so I've got Batgirl. Uh, we've got Bombshell, uh, all the Bombshells have a trait where they get the Bombshell tokens and some of them you just get free attacks, some of them get other effects. Uh, she, she has trait Steel Energy, uh, starts on click 3 and can go up based on the damage. And she's got more into World War One Flying Ace for defensive power. Super Senses, when attacked by a character with the flight symbol, modify her defense by plus 3. Nice. And she starts with uh, 17. So, oh, yeah, if she gets a bit, she gets vampired up. Uh, she's up to an 18. She's, wow, that's a pretty good heal up there. Yeah, she gets pretty nasty when she gets to her top stats. Yeah. I'm going to concede to because Joker is a title character. And, he's, he's and you also, so, you know, Joker beats back her walk with her scissors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're on to the last booster. Yep, I don't know if I'm expecting another super rare. We'll see. You shot. Dead? Yeah, that's super rare. So, I guess we'll see what the total is once we're done. Alright. Well, I got. Bernadette of the Female Furies, uh, Dr. Harleen Quinzel, uh, the Scarecrow of the GCPD, and the Asylum Doctor. Nice. So I'm going to go with the Sod's sister. Nice. Uh, I ended up pulling out Harley and Ivy out of mine. Nice. Uh, what other characters were? I can't remember. I think pretty much everything we've seen before. So before we finish off, I just wanted to say, I have three Super Rares, Rare Prime and Chase. You have Common Prime and three Super Rares? So that's a little bit higher than most sets. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's just about you. It's interesting how you ended up winning most of the things, but my brick actually ended up having, I think, more value because I had the Chase and the really good Prime. So I think that's a set you want to buy a case of as opposed to a brick. Yeah. All right, Bernadette, a uh, little apocalypse. If you hit, then she's got the protected outwit, opposing perplex, exploit weakness, and penetrating psychic blast. It's always nice. Uh, she's got poison, deals penetrating to opposing characters with action tokens. Uh, yeah, she's a nice little figure. Yeah, perfectly reasonable, fifty points, mm -hmm. and she's still very definitely a threat. Mm -hmm. 
You can't just ignore and something we have, don't see much of anymore. Superman enemy team. Yeah, that's pretty rare. That was one that Apocalypse used to get a bunch, but not as much anymore. Yeah. It's, that would be so good, man. Yeah. So Harley Nymer, your gorgeous sculpt. Uh, super rare. All the keyword they should. Uh, aside from stealth as a starting thing, uh, incapacity, poison, smoke cloud. Ignore poison, which they should because Harley had a immunity serum, as you saw in the show, to poison. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, there are wild card and uh, Batman enemies they can share. Good attack values all the way down, nothing lower than a 10. Good damage. Just overall, great stuff going on here. So I'm going to say that no matter, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that yeah. was an easy one yeah. for you. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to four. You, you, at one point you would want, it didn't matter how many more yeah. I won. Yeah, so a lot of good stuff here, a lot of good value. Definitely a nice little case. Good chase. Rare Prime, we can't go wrong, good super rares. Yeah. We got uh, a couple of people who have, haven't been around for a while, we've been wanting. Yeah, lots um, of much needed reclicksing going on. Here. And some much needed clicksing in the mm -hmm. first place, uh, particularly for my great love, the JSA. Mm -hmm. And you win the Holly Quinn that you totally care about. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, so you can come to 401 Games and you can buy all these. They're going to be singles once uh, the set is actually hit uh, release date. Uh, we're going to actually have sealed for this set for the upcoming WizKids Open, which is uh, Sunday, November 19th, which happens to be my birthday. We're going to be judging. It's going to be a good time. Cool X-Men prizes. Yep. Uh, that's... And this Thursday is the sealed event, the release for yeah. this set as well. Yeah, so you can try and win that Harlequin. You can get one of these too. And the maps are the Roller Derby and Harley's apartment building. Says at one point she actually had condo or apartment building that she was a landlord of. So really nice case here. Yeah. These these, these nice. singles are going to sell very quickly. Nice bits. Not mm -hmm. too bad for duplicates. No. Um, and generally got almost everybody we wanted. So that's all we have for you today. Uh, we guess we both hope to see you soon at 4-1 Games to play some Heroclix games. Thanks for watching. Alright, take care.